Hello my dear students, so here we meet again in English with me, Soleha. So now we are going to learn about my week and uh, specifically in speaking lesson. So before we proceed with the lesson, I would like you all to do the game, uh, to play game uh, by clicking in this link and then uh, I want you to recall the school subject learned in the previous lesson using this game, okay? So, to begin our lesson, I would like you all to look at the timetable and um, I want you all to state the subject from the timetable. From here, we can see that there's mathematics, English, um, PJ or PE, Physical Education, uh, BA, maybe this one is Bahasa Arab, BM, Bahasa Melayu, Science, uh, RBT, is it uh, Reka Bentuk and Technology, uh, and PI, Pendidikan Islam or Religion, um, Sejarah, History, and Pendidikan Seni Visual Arts and more, okay? So, the sentence pattern that we are going to learn today is We have two sentence pattern. The first one is I think Monday will be great because we have math. So, Monday is the day which is noun. So, you can replace Monday with any days that you like or you prefer. I think any day, for example, Monday will be great. Great is adjective. You also can replace this with other adjective. If uh, you if it's not great, you can also uh, replace it with interesting or uninteresting or boring because we have subject for example math you can also replace this subject with other subject nouns okay for example english and others and the second sentence pattern is i like math subject which is uh, because it is fun math is subject so this subject this noun here must be coherent with this uh, subject here, okay? Because both of these sentence is relatable, okay? Because it is, I like math because it is fun. Fun is adjective. You can also put other adjective that we are going to learn in the next slide. Okay, so this is the list of adjectives that you can choose from. You can also add um, the adjective that you prefer. You not it's not necessary to take um, the adjective from this list. Okay, you can also have your own adjective. So the first one is uninteresting, interesting, difficult, uh, religious, fun. Tricky, adventurous, easy, sorry, brilliant, fascinating, wonderful, wise, vital, sweet, and exciting. So, the next activity, I would like you all to match the school subject with this adjective, okay? Remember that there is no correct or wrong answer for this session because this is solely um, depends on your preferences, okay? So if you think English is interesting, so you can match it with interesting adjective. And for mathematics, if you say it's fun, you can uh, match with fun adjective, okay? So when you completed this activity, you can screen capture it and send the image through Google Classroom. Okay, so next activity. Uh, in the uh, 
at the second last stage, I would like you all to produce five sentences of the sentence pattern that I've taught earlier. Sorry. To describe the and subject with suitable adjective. And I would like you all to record your voice and send it to Google Classroom. So which means you, you have to use five days. Uh, doesn't matter any days, but you have to use five days. You can uh, uh, use two days or three same days because it is solely depends on you. So both of these sentences is considered as one sentences. Okay. Uh, therefore, all together you have to produce 10 sentences because I think money will be great because we have math. I like math because it's fun. It's considered as one sentences. So produce five set of these. Okay. And after you've produced the sentences, you can... Uh, Take the picture of it and then send it to Google Classroom. And then to revise our lesson for today, I would like you all to click the link that I will provide in the Google Classroom. And I want you to do this word, word search activity. And uh, this activity is to revise our lesson for today. So use this word in this box as a guide for you all to find the word in this puzzle, okay? So thank you. That's all for our lesson for today. I hope that you can follow and understand the lesson that I've taught you for this session. Thank you till we meet again in the next session. Bye-bye.